Hi guys, in this video we will deal with two subjects in SQL, basically calculations and conditions. Now first of all, let's create a simple table. So that's my table. I've got four fields in it, username, gender, weight and height, all of them text and let's go. So I just created my table and now let's insert some data. So these are my three rows and each row has got these four values just to fill, the, just to fill up the four fields we had and go. So I got that as well. In case you don't see your table in here, what you do is refresh and here it is. Right, so now let's get the data from that table with a simple select. Right, and go. So there we go. Right, so now we can start doing some calculations. Let's start off with a simple calculation, which is basically, I want to know how many calories how many calories can each of these people take in daily? Now, there are many formulas to calculate that. Obviously, I'm not, a, I'm not, you know, I'm not up to date to that. I'm not a nutritionist or anything like that. But let me take a simple formula which says like, you're allowed 30 calories per kilogram weight, okay? And uh, both heights and weights, uh, uh, sorry, heights are in centimeters, uh, weights are in kilograms but units don't matter in this case i'm just putting a formula here and now what i want is to know how much calories how much daily calories can each of these guys take and obviously because it says 30 kilograms per uh, 30 calories per kilogram obviously this is weight based so if i need to do a formula the formula would be something like that weight whatever you weigh times 30 that would be your daily calorie intake so, and this is exactly the way we write a formula in um, SQL. You take the field and then multiply it by some other thing, either a field or a constant value as is in this case. Very similar for those people familiar with Excel, very similar. In Excel, you use cell references like B2 times A2, whatever. Here, the same thing, except you don't have cell references, you have fields. So. And that would work as a formula, except if you see weight is text, you can't multiply text with numbers. So what you have to do, you have to convert your weight to a number. The way you do that is basically use cast, and then you cast your weight. Now you gotta say, to what? To what should I cast my weight? I should, you have, for instance, int, that would cast your weight to an integer. So that means this would not be a text anymore, but an integer. And then now you can multiply it to 30. And, and then at the end, after that's your calculation, what you still got to do, because what we're doing here, we're now going to be creating a new field with that calorie intake. So, and that new, fields needs, the new field needs a name. What do you call it? Well, let's call it, and, and you proceed the name with the word as, and you call it, uh, let's call it uh, calorie intake. Okay, and don't forget because we're adding a new field, I have to add a comma here. And I'm ready to go. So now you see my calorie intake is basically 90 times 30 is 2700 and so on. So that's that's the way you do calculations in, um, in SQL. If you have <clears throat> all your fields in text, then don't forget to convert them to a number, either an int or, or, or some sort of a, a decimal number. Uh, you will also notice because both of them are integers, the calorie intake field is an integer. As, la as soon as I change one of them, let's say make it 30.0, now that is no more an integer. And if I run that, you will see now calorie intake is no more integer because it has to uh, adjust itself to the biggest type and floats or or, or decimal um, numbers are a bigger type than an integer and same here if I revert to 30 and run it so I've got back to an integer now if I change that to a float instead of an int then again I would see I would have here double precision which is basically again a decimal number so you see, it depends on the way you cast your uh, fields to what the end field will have that, will have the biggest type. 
Now, the third is an integer, but float is bigger, so it's double precision. Right, now this, I don't need to float. And remember, always use <clears throat> something, always stay efficient with your, uh, with your space, because an integer typically takes less space than a float. So basically, you don't want to have floats, your weights and floats, if you don't need them. I don't need no floats here. I mean, my weights are all uh, integers. I don't have, I don't need to, to, to change into a float. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't add anything. Same thing with the calories. It is 30 calories. It's not like 30.56. And so I, that's also as an interest is good enough. Right. Okay. So you see here, cal uh, calculations in, in SQL is nothing, uh, no, no, no rocket science. It's just basically, you know, the normal, typical calculations you always do. Now we come to a second type of calculation, which is basically, let's, let's calculate in this case, the ideal weight for each person. Now, obviously, again, there are many formulas out there, but I'm gonna take one which I knew as a teenager, which is basically like this. For males, you take your height in centimeters, take a subtract 100 from that, and then the whole thing, the whole thing, you take off 10%, which basically means multiply the whole thing with 0 0.9. And for females, it is uh, times 0.8. So you take off 20%, am I? Here. <clears throat> uh, you take off 20% of, uh, of that operation here. Right. Now, how do I do something like that in SQL? Obviously, here, I don't have the same formula for everybody the way I had here, because here I have two formulas, one for males, one for females. How do I, how do I go about that? Well, here we need a condition. <clears throat> and in SQL, the way you do conditions is this way. You start off with case, and you end, uh, you end with the word end. And you again, as with here, You'd have to name that new field because, again, we are creating a new field which has this uh, ideal weight calculation. And hence, it will be called ideal weight. What you call it fields doesn't matter as long as you, you know, you're aware of what, what the content is or your people, let's say your colleagues or employees or whatever, are aware of what that, uh, what the uh, <clears throat> contents of this uh, field entail. Right, now what is the first condition? The first condition is males. So, and how do I do, how do I know, how do I differentiate males from females in this, in this table? Well, we start off with when. And males and females, or the differentiation is in that field gender. So when gender is, uh, when gender is equal to n, because that's males, then, and now we get the formula, and I can just copy that formula. And I don't need that. And here, that's basically the formula, then height minus 100 times 0 0.9. Again, height is a text, so again, here, I have to cast, cast that, as uh, again an integer uh, and there you go and that would be the first formula and that would be the ideal weight for males and then for females and add the w here right and then gender f and 0 0.8 now, and then, as an end thing, I could always have else zero. So else covers anything not covered currently by the database. The database just covers M and F. Else covers everything else. Obviously, you could have also done it like this. Oops, hold on a second. You could also done it like this. Oh, let me, let me do it this way. Let me just copy that, uh, comment that out. You could have also done it like this, and here would be else. 
That is also very valid, except I don't like that because here you cover N, which is basically the males, and everything else is covered with that. It is valid, it works, but what if somebody entered another uh, letter in here? Let's say X or Y or Z, or whatever. That isn't F. That isn't female. That is either an error or a new type of gender. So in either way, is it covered with 0 0.8? You know, with this, with this factor? So I'm very wary of using something like that. I prefer to say, okay, I've got M genders, they're covered with this formula. F genders, they're covered with this formula. And right now I've only got these two. So with the else, what I do is I put out a zero. That makes errors very easy to catch because I can then say, okay, everywhere where is a zero, where this field has a zero, obviously is an error because nobody has an ideal weight of zero. Okay, so that's the way I prefer to, to do conditions because um, just doing M and then else and the rest is like with the covered with the with the F with the female formula or the other way around. If you say gender is F and that would be 0 0.8 and then ev everything else is obviously a male. Well, is it? Is it? Because, you know, anything could be could be input in here. You don't know who's inputting what and you could have errors and then are the errors also males in this case. So be very careful with that. That's why I prefer to have my conditions like this. And this way I, I've covered all situations in the gender column and everything else, whatever, I don't know what's coming into this uh, column, it's covered by, the, by that zero. And if I now run that, I have here to add a comma because that's not the last field anymore. And if I run that, I've got the ideal weight and you can now see that this guy is obviously overweight, this guy is ideal and this guy is underweight. And that is how you can do calculations in SQL and how you can have conditions in SQL. And you see it is not that complex.